Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bleeding Edge Tattoo Supply channel for another exciting update of a new product that we are adding to our catalog. For those of you who are watching the R&D videos of us testing products that come in and out, uh, you'll probably already be aware of this guy. This is the Ozer Quick Stencil Wireless Printer, right? Stencil printer. We have tested this at the wazoo. We have uh, put it in the hands of other artists, um, you know, that are actually out there tattooing to get their feel on it. And uh, the long and short of it is, is we, we really like this printer. You know, we have a couple different, uh, we have a thermal printer, if that's what you're looking for, but for portable actual printing, this is this is kind of a really, really nice uh, device that you guys are going to love, especially if you do a lot of traveling or you're doing the convention circuit a lot. It's really, really cool. <clears throat> and again, I, I'm going to point out that this is a printer, not a thermal copier, which means it will print exactly what's sent to it digitally. So you can get nicer gradients and half tones if you're doing a lot of portrait work and stuff like that. So let's really take a look and drill down exactly what's all included here and how this works, okay? Okay, so first off, um, the box is pretty cool. You know, I know it's just a box, but there are some people that are pretty excited about packaging that stuff comes in. Uh, it, the device itself feels pretty substantial. You know, it's not made of some crappy plastic. It's nice, nice compact design. It comes with a very, very sexy fleece carry case, which you can just toss this guy into, and uh, you're good to hit the road. It's pretty awesome. They also throw in a really cool key tag here, keychain, and comes with a USB charge cable, data cable, uh, if you want to connect through an actual laptop or computer. This does have that capability, but of course it is designed to be wireless. Get this guy out here. And it comes with a couple quick start guides and a USB stick here that has instructions if you are wanting to download um, the program onto a computer or a laptop so that you can use this direct connected with the cable. So real, real easy. You just plug it in, follow the wizard, you're good to go. But, if you are using one of these for the first time, what you're going to need to do is download, it's very specific, you're going to need the Quick Stencil app. You can find it for both uh, Apple and Android, and I'm going to download it right now. Okay. Then, what you need to do is connect it to your Bluetooth wireless printer. Now, to turn it on, just hold the on button for three seconds. It's gonna come on, it's gonna come on with a red light, that's because there's no paper in it, uh, but solid red light is actually a good thing. And then connect, and it's gonna come up here in your list of available printers. And we're connected, it's that simple. It's got a nice little green check mark, pretty easy. And then we're gonna print images. So there's three different functions here. So let me go back here so you guys can check it out. There's two options here. You can do uh, image scanning or you can print images directly from the app. So very simply, um, we're gonna go to the print uh, images and there is three different functions here. You've got photo editing, collage, and image splitting. I'm just gonna go to collage because this is what you guys are probably gonna use most of the time. Um, and it's really handy because you can actually choose multiple images. So if you get a bunch of little tattoos to do or micro tattoos or something like that, you can print them all off from one sheet, save you more stencil paper without you know, wasting so much. So I'm going to choose three different designs here. Now this was our initial test way back when, for those of you that watched the R&D video. But we got three designs here. One is a really, really simple fine line uh, script tattoo. It's our bleeding edge logo. One is a nice uh, American traditional dagger and rose design and I used a 
a black and gray portrait of Salvador Dali. So three very different styles of stencils that you might use. And to manipulate this program, it's real easy. You just click on them and drag ramp wherever you want. You can place them however you want. And it also gives you the option to enlarge and swivel, which is really, really handy. So you can resize however you need to. So I'm going to just get this uh, to a decent size for printing, and then we'll print it out and you can see how it actually works. So here we are. So now I've got my sheet how I want to print it, and then I'm just going to hit the little printer icon up here, and then hit print when I'm ready to print, but we're first going to throw in a stencil sheet here. Now to prepare this properly, which by the way, we're using sapphire stencil paper today. <clears throat> so, for those of you who are unfamiliar, these guys. So that's what we're going to put in here just to test it. So you can all see exactly what the print quality is like. Uh, so first things first, we're going to remove the onion skin in between this protective layer. Remove that. And we're going to remove the back yellow sheet, right? For this kind of a printer, it needs to be gone. But that is real easy to do. All you need is a ruler. Make sure you keep the top portion intact, otherwise everything will fall apart. That's no good for nobody. And then, just peel away. That's it. Okay? So, your stencil sheet should look like this. Right? Okay. And then, we're just going to put it in the front. It will kind of auto-feed a little bit. Like that and you're good to go. The light goes from red to green. We're ready to print. Now I'll go back to the app here with my designs ready to go and just hit print. Like magic. Okay, there is our transfer. Peel this all apart here. And there, you can get a good look at the quality of the print, even with that fine line work that it got in there, right? It kind of, I mean, the design I put in there was kind of crappy to begin with, but it printed exactly what was there, even those super fine lines you're getting. Okay, uh, this is 203 dpi, so this is going to give you a better print than those inkjet uh, printers out there that are trying to do this without all the problems you get with an inkjet printer. Alright, so you can get nice, nice gradients if you're doing portrait work or black and gray work. Right, nice, nice references if that's the kind of stuff you do. If you're doing you know, more traditional design, those are nice solid lines. That's not going to disappear on you. It's going to be really easy. And even if you're doing fine script work, prints that no problem as well. Right, so it's all there. And if you're wondering how well does this actually go on, let's give that a go too. We'll just cut out this dagger and rose here. And of course you need a stencil solution, so we are going to use Recovery Stencil Lock. It's a great product, we love this too, obviously, we carry it. <laughs> uh, one of the main reasons why I really like this is it's, um, you don't need very much, little tiny bit. So I'm going to stick this guy up here. It's one of the few places I'm not covered in hair. There we go. And our nice 
printed design on the sapphire stencil paper. We'll just lay this guy in place. Hopefully you all can see this, and that easy, right? That is a nice solid stencil. Uh, I don't think anyone would have any trouble trying, uh, tattooing with this. It's a good reference for you. Nice and clean, solid, bold lines. Awesome stuff. So, there you go. As you can see, really, really easy to use really portable, nothing to it. Their app is also super easy to use. You can mess around with whatever. I mean, it's not an art program. It's not going to allow you to draw, but you can crop and resize and collage images and print directly from your phone anywhere that you are. So really, really great for those guys who are traveling a lot and doing conventions a lot and, and guest spots a lot. Um, even if you just want it to be your go-to printer, it has pretty good quality, right? 203 DPI, it, it is able to print a nice reference image like this so you can do nice portrait work or nice black and gray work uh, and take the guesswork out of it, right? You don't need reference lines or anything like that, they can just print direct. So there you have it. Hopefully that explains everything. The quick start guides are pretty simple, pretty easy to use. Um, anyone can follow through it. It just might seem a little bit crazy in the first place, but once you get into it, you'll, you won't have any, any issues at all. So that's it. That is the Ozer Wireless Quick Stencil Printer. Uh, I definitely recommend it. it. It is a great price point. It is a great printer. Definitely check it out. And uh, definitely come back here and check us out for more videos on new products that we're adding to our catalog all the time.